Hey guys, Jano Zero. All right, we are with part two of the wind turbine here. There is the constructed wind turbine, uh, the blades on the generator and the tail fin. And now what we're going to be doing is we're going to put, uh, we got some two inch or inch and a half, I think it is. Yeah, inch and a half electrical conduit pipe. I uh, had a chance to get uh, a tower, but I didn't. Um, I had one of them moments. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it right over there where Bill is, uh, from Bill from our off-grid solar cabin. He has one of these as well. We're going to mount the conduit tower right there. Uh, we're going to show you how we're going to mount it. And then we're going to run it, the wires, underneath the deck up to our battery box here, which is, this is the box we built to hold the batteries on the outside. And we'll show you about that in a little while. But for now, what we're going to do is we've got our conduit here laid out on the ground and we are running the wires through it that we're going to be using uh, for the turbine. We're going to we're putting the wire through first that way it makes it easier to uh, uh, you know to run the wire that way you're not trying to run it while your tower is standing up. There's right there uh, some cable for the guy wires. Now the kind of wire that we're using and this is probably not going to be recommended by uh, recommended by anybody but we're using 12 volt 10 gauge uh, the 10 2 wire uh, this is what I'm going to use now what we're going to do is we're going to strip this end off here the ends of both of these the negative and the positive wires we're going to solder them together and attach a connector to it and we're going to run both of these as one wire, meaning that uh, the current, the DC current, is going to go through both sets of wires that way because wire is really expensive, and uh, that was going to, you know, that was going to be a big cost. So what we're going to do is we're going to run one of these as the positive connection, and one of these as the negative connection. And it'll be an entire set of wires will be one wire. That way, that should give me uh the the amperage that i need uh to carry it safely through without overheating and losing anything so this is what we've come up with and uh that way you don't have to buy you know a great big uh four gauge wire or six gauge wire i'm using this 10 2 wire that's 12 volt wire and uh that should uh work just fine for us and you see we've got it all run out here run it through the conduit and we're putting uh bill's putting the cup link on right here so do start the connection of the of the uh, of the conduit wires down here at the end, uh, a couple of feet up. We've drilled some we drilled some holes into the conduit here. We're going to lag bolt them. Uh, those four by fours posts for the deck are set in concrete underneath. So we're going to run the end of the the conduit pipe right here on top of the concrete, and then lag bolt them to the deck poles. And then use that as our main support as we go up. Another thing we did down here was we cut out of the side of the pipe. We cut this uh, that hole out for the wires to come through. That way the wires can come through about right in here somewhere. They'll come out and we can run them in underneath the deck and just kind of tack them up underneath the deck as we run to the battery box. You see we have two sets of wires here. One whole one whole set will be for positive and one whole set will be for positive. So there we go, that's where we are so far. And uh, when we get a little bit more done, get ready to stand it up. We'll get back with you. This is uh, three 10 foot sections of this one and a half inch electrical conduit, by the way. And we got them couple of, uh, we got those couplers that were there to make it continuous. And that's gonna be our tower. So we'll get back with you in a little bit. Hey guys, here's what we're gonna do. <clears throat> we are just not sure that this cup link or this coupling right here with these little short screws is going to hold uh, the weight like we want it to. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill out the holes where the coupling goes, these bolts, and we're gonna put in longer, uh, longer machine bolts here that'll go down through the coupling and it'll actually go into and through the pipe. That way it's going to hold more and it'll be more solid, more sturdy. So we're going to drill these out and put it together. And that's what we're going to do. You see where the, 
the screws, these screws here that went through the coupling made a mark right here on the pipe, on the, uh, the conduit pipe. That's where we're going to drill the holes out. We're going to drill them the same size and then we can put the longer bolts down through the coupling, through the pipe and it'll make it more solid and it should hold up a little bit better. So that's what we're doing. He's getting ready to drill them out now. There you go. And we're going to do that with each one of those bolts for the coupling. I just wasn't sure that a little, uh, we're just not quite sure that an inch and a half worth of, uh, you know, coupling is going to hold any kind of weight. So that's why we're doing this. So anyway, we'll get these drilled out and put it back together and uh, we'll get back with you in a little bit. Come in, once we, once we get in, come in a little bit closer and show them. <clears throat> okay, guys. You push it, you already push it? All right. Okay, we got the uh, <clears throat> holes drilled out here, and I'm going to show you what we're doing. This is, these are the bolts that come with the coupling. These are the bolts that we're putting in. We drilled out the holes. That way we can put these machine bolts in. And rather than just tightening up onto the pipe here, we can just ratchet them right through the pipe. And they'll go in and it'll make it a lot more solid. and it should be able to support a lot more weight. But you don't want to go so tight that you strip them out. You want to stop when they get tight. That way now you can feel these bolts sticking through the pipe and that should be a lot more solid, sturdy connection than just having these butt up against it, the coupling bolts. So, I just wanted to show you guys what we're doing and why we're doing it. Because that's going to be, you know, if it, we get a good wind and it, just standing it up, it's going to have 20 pounds on the end of it. And we didn't want the uh, the coupling just to, to kind of snap and bow right there on the pipe, so that's what we did. So we're going to do the rest of them, and then we'll get back with you. Alrighty, we got <clears throat> the turbine mounted onto the end of the conduit here. We got our locking ring mounted to the conduit, and it spins nicely on the conduit there. Oh, hit myself in the face with it. Now we got our wires coming out to the top here. Now we're going to take the end of the wires and uh, put them together and put uh, connector rings on there so that we can connect up our, our positive here to the positive. And then the ground is over here on the other side here. So that's the next step. <clears throat> we'll get right back with you. Well, what we was afraid was going to happen, happened. That coupling, that coupler right there, you see how it cracked and broke? It split, it just cast aluminum. And they split. And we even tried to put a piece of angle iron there and give it a little bit of a brace. You know, angle iron was, of course, we held it on with duct tape because it wasn't going to be permanent. But uh, we was afraid that that coupler there, since they're just cast aluminum and small, was going to snap, and they did. So we're going to try to figure out a way to better way to get these two sections or these three sections of pipe together and when we do figure it out we will let you know and get back with you okay guys here's what we're doing I got a we got some uh, two inch conduit a little bit bigger than the uh, inch and a half stuff over there uh, we cut a two foot section with the grinder and then there's on the side of the conduit there's a little seam where the uh, manufacturing process goes through that runs through there and I just took my grinder and ripped it uh, down about a half inch gap or so, a little more. And what the plan is, is we're going to slide this over the two, ow, the two uh, inch and a half pieces there, put some U-bolts on it, and then clamp it down uh, to where it's tight around the inch and a half. And then once it's tight, then we're going to drill through it and bolt it together, and we'll make our own coupler since we need a longer, stronger coupler. This is what we come up with. And uh, the only thing we're using right now to do this is the, uh, the angle grinder here. And like I say, I got it in the vise. Just take my angle grinder and uh, grind out that uh, seam right there so that we can get uh, a coupler that will slide over and then we can tighten them down and we'll show you the uh, when we get it done. Alright, you can see we got bolts through it now. We got this U-bolt right here 
and you can see how when we tighten up the U-bolt with these spacers in here, it pulls it closed, it pulls that seam closed, and then we run these bolts right here through it. Uh, that will takes up that edge, that gives us our new couplers that we're making that, we, uh, that we're using to put the sections of pole together so it'll make them good and rigid and good and solid. So I think he's getting ready to slide another one in there. We can slide another that other section of pipe. Just slide it right in there. <clears throat> Just like that. Now what we'll do is since we got it up here in the top, it's already pulled together. We're going to go ahead and drill this out and put a bolt in. And then we'll move that U-bolt down to the end. Tighten up that U-bolt and it'll close that up and then we'll drill it and put another bolt in. So that's how we're doing the couplers on this pole. So let us get back at it and we'll uh, let you see the finished product. Alrighty, we got our wind turbine put together. It is at the end of the pole. We've got guy wires tied into the pole. You see there's our couplers right there that we made. We've got two of those couplers that we made out of the two inch pipes. Now all we got left to do is we're going to stand it up. Uh, we're going to stand it straight up here onto the deck. And then right there on them 4x4s, we're going to lag bolt them in to the 4x4s. And uh, then we'll have our guy wires going. Uh, and we'll show you that whenever we get to that process, however we got everything hooked up. So for now, we're going to stand her up. And uh, I'm going to have to turn the camera off in order to do that. But we're going to stand it up and get it all in position. And get it lag bolted right there to the 4x4s. Those are in concrete. So... We'll get back with you here directly. Okay, we got it standing up. It is on that 30 foot <clears throat> pole now. And uh, yeah, it wasn't very easy to stand it up the way that we did it, but it's up. We got one guy wire coming down to that post right there that used to be uh, for the uh, electric here for the house. And that's post is sitting in uh, a couple feet of concrete. Then we uh, have got another guy wire that is going over there where Bill is. Wave, Bill! You crabby bastard, there you go. Uh, it's gonna mount it to, we're gonna mount it to that locust tree over there. And then our third guy wire is coming down this way and it is attached uh, through the fascia of the house into uh, one of the roofs, roof uh, rafters here. So, that is our guy wires and our tower. We put it up, we ran the, uh, the wire, let me just walk over here and show you. Ran the wire down, of course, through the conduit. <clears throat> we got Mr. Moving On Greg here, putting the last lag bolt into the bottom here. We ran the wiring down through here. And of course we got the end of one of them marked as the positive and the negative. And now we're going to run them underneath the deck and tack them up underneath the deck all the way to the back of the house where the battery box is. So, there we go. Let me walk over here to the battery box. Look at that. Holy crap, that's good coffee. Alright, now the battery box. Right in between the uh, boards of the deck here, we'll bring the wire up and hook them into this charge controller here, which is for a wind turbine. Then we've got the cables. You see that big glob of uh, expanding foam. I got to trim it up, but that is goes into the house for the inverter wires. Inverters are hooked up to the battery bank. They go into the house. They come out right there. There's the inverter mounted on the wall. We got the uh, small Harbor Freight uh, charge controller uh, just run to the battery bank as well. That way we can still plug our lights in, turn the switch on, and uh, well, once I get it all hooked up, turn it on. We'll be able to turn this Harbor Freight switch on there. You'll see, and it, uh, the lights will work. That way we can have lights back here in the laundry room that are run off the solar bank. And there's the other expandable foam too. So that's how we got it hooked up so far. Now we get some breeze, get some wind, get that bad boy pumping juice into the batteries. So that's where we are guys. 
it was a uh, it's a pretty good job to do for a couple of guys who you know never put up a wind turbine. Uh, Bill's got one out of his place, but he's got his mounted on his roof. I didn't want to put mine on my roof, uh, so we use this tower and this conduit, and uh, I think it's going to work. It seems to be pretty sturdy. We'll get them guy wires and get it all straightened up, and uh, we'll get it to spinning, and we'll see what's going on. So for now, got to go find my hat. <laughs> Thanks for watching. God bless in the end. Buzz, buzz, the end.